coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Chicago Cubs. Major League Baseball on MLB Network, coming up right after this. Trevor Williams, a California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? This guy had a year you'd love to forget last year. Awfully ugly. We'll see if he can rebound and pitch much better. And if he doesn't, his spot in the rotation could be in jeopardy. It'll be awfully important that he gets off to a good start in this one. Ready now is Lorenzo Cain. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Underway here in the Monday opener as the game's first pitch misses for ball one. Well, guys, as we look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight, they come in two and one on the young season and off to a good start. Yeah, Maddie, a lot of things trending in the right direction for this team. They won their last game, they scored a bunch of runs, and let's see if they continue that today. Swing and a liner. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Boy, talk about being a game of inches, d -Row. That was a bullet just out of the reach of the third baseman. Yeah, third base is just a reactionary position, kind of a la goalie in hockey. He didn't have much chance there. He tried to make a play, get it above his head, but he was unable to get there. Avisail Garcia stands in as he looks at a called strike. Lays off the slider and it's one and one. And set up behind the plate, Rusty Valentine, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew for this one. Hey, you know, D. Rowe, Rusty Valentine, he's known for having a high and a low strike zone, but he's pretty good east and west. You better keep it on the corners. Yeah, I'm okay with Rusty's zone, without question. You know he's going to elevate. It's north south, so you're aware of it. As a veteran player, you can live with that. Here comes the one two. This one skied out toward right. Bryant will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Batting third. With that, the here's a look at the Brewers' the starting lineup. Mark, what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win? Matty, I know I'm stating the obvious, but the middle of the order has to come through today. You got guys that are playing way above their pay grade on the periphery, and it's time for them to look and see the big boys do their job. And here's Christian Yelich now. In yesterday's game, he was responsible for the only run driven in by his club. 0-1 the count. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. You got to cover the whole plate now after letting him steal two strikes on the inside half. Grounded weakly down the line toward third, but a foul ball, and the count holds at 0 2. Kane stands at first with one out. 1 and 2 for Christian Yelich. Yeah, if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. And that'll bring up Keston Hura. He takes his Keston. first cuts in this one with a man Hura. at first and two away. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Well, ball one, no and here's his fastball for a cold strike one, one and he's hitting an even 90 on the gun. Hey, I know it's early and we're in the first right here. But he's going to have to work that heater to both sides of the plate. He cannot get away with missing over the heart of the plate all night. Skied into straightaway right. Bryant is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Milwaukee leaves one, and now it'll be the Cubs' turn in a scoreless ball game. Brett Anderson will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Plezak, what do you got? 
This ought to be interesting to see how this guy bounces back from last year when he had an ERA over four. I know his team is expecting better things from him this year. And we'll see if he can continue to get a little bit better, limit the number of walks, and also limit the number of hits per nine innings. Ian Happ is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning 1-0. and And guys, we take a look at the Brewers entering play here tonight. They come in in a real funk to start the year, still searching for for what's been an elusive first win. Yeah, Maddie, to expect to go through the course of a long season and just dominate every every game, every team, is just a foolish thought process. You're going to have these little hiccups throughout the course of the season. I think they keep you honest and keep you real and keep you on the attack. Let's see if they fight today. The 2-1 home. Is a sinker that misses for a ball. Having a little trouble finding the zone to start the night. It's always deflating to walk the leadoff guy in the game. So we'll see if he can initiate some contact here. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Whoa, you know a pitcher is really fighting himself when he misses a zone by that much. I'm surprised the catcher could even bring that in. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. He was one for four with a two bagger in yesterday's game. Hit the other way out toward right field. This is gathered in out there by Garcia for the first out. And good. a chance now from the, the north side of Chicago to check out Red. the Cubs starting lineup. Dan Plesak, right, who are you focused on? Well, Matty, the guy I'm here to see is Big Chris Bryant. He's hitting over 400. Now, hold on. I know it's just April, but that's really impressive. And if you're hitting 400 in the backyard playing wiffle ball, you're still doing something pretty good. It's been a great start, and I'm interested to see if he can feed off of it the rest of the way. Chris Bryant started to go around, but it's a called strike 0-1. From the belt, kicks and deals. Nope. Runners on first with one down. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. After it is Kane. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Batting four, the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. He had a homer in the ballgame yesterday afternoon. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Lays off 1-0. Now a good pitch around the knees but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. He's having a really hard time finding his rhythm and finding the strike zone. It's going to allow this offense to keyhole him in big situations. He's got to figure it out pretty quick. Here's the 2 and 0. Oh. Good pitch to hit a sinker down the chute but it's taken for a strike. Yeah I get it they want to run this guy's pitch count up but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing it that way. All even now, two and two. Half is off of first with two away. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. Cubs strand one and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. So here is Daniel Vogelback as it'll be five six and seven do up to kick off the second inning. Vogelback. And he'll take strike one on the fastball registering at ninety three that time. 
He's had some success so far, but he's going to need to continue to throw strikes early on in the zone because the more they see this guy, sooner or later they're going to figure him out. One and one, the count to the Brewers' first baseman. Vogelbach behind the ball and two strikes. And he chased it in the dirt. And the throw is there to record the first out. Now one down with the bases empty. And that brings up the left-handed hitter, Travis Shaw. Here's the first pitch. All one. All one, no strike. Now the 1-0. No pitch off the plate. Shaw wants a Toronto Blue Jay. He signed as a free agent with this organization earlier in the season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer term deal, but these are the facts right now. He is on a one year deal and he is going to have to produce if he is going to get that multi year he's been looking for come off season. In time to first and there are two away. Well, if you're going to bobble the ball, you have to hope it's when a guy is lumbering down the base pass. He's no speedster, so that was a good job to stay calm and make the recovery throw. Up next, Narvaez. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. In there, strike one. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Hap is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. Gone in order of the Brewers. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here's Javier Baez as they'll have five six and seven here to start the home half of the second first pitch on the way breaking ball that drops in for a strike hey if he's going to execute that curveball and that's the first one of the day if he's going to execute it like that be on the lookout for that one that's going to be a big pitch for him today but this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have that far exists. to go for the out the second all right guys here's a defensive Take alignment there. for the Milwaukee Brewers Lodi. and let's take a look at Travis Shaw the calling cards the bat left handed power the ability to manipulate both gaps but also a very adequate very underrated defender on both corners both first and third standing in now David Bodie as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now here's the pitch. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. There's the heavy sinker right there. What makes that pitch so difficult to hit is not only does it change eye levels, it actually changes plane. You go to hit it at one position, and it's six to eight inches dropping off the table and chasing your hands. Count remains full. Bottom of the second here with no score. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes. And history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. On the ground to the left side. Oh, a diving stop. There's one. Not in time. Well, he showed right there why he's such a tough guy to double up. He can fly, and he busted it down the line, so they just get the one out. So two down and a runner at first, and that means the corner infielder Matt Duffy will bet next. From the belt, kicks and deals. Oh. 
Off the plate and in. Hits a ball and a strike. Can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Yelich is under it. And that will end the inning. One left for the Cubs. We'll move to the third with no score. Next to bat Orlando Arcia. As we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Now here's the first offering. Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. A high strike there, and it's one and one. Heading out towards shallow right. Bryant is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. Batting up, the pitcher, number 25. Brett now it'll be Anderson. Brett Anderson. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. Man, this guy's in a good groove right now. Seven straight retired. He's locked in. Third inning, no score to this point. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Ball back down. Hit softly down the line at first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The center fielder, number six, Lorenzo King. So two away in the Brewers half of the third. And that'll bring up the center fielder, Lorenzo Kane. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Down the left field line and deep. Wind up and the 0 1. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0 and 2. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Trevor Williams. First the pitch pitcher. on its way. Trevor. Tried well to check done. it, and it's 0-1. Down and away, ball one. The 1-1. One, one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kane is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The left fielder, number eight, Ian Hat. So one down, no one aboard, and that'll bring up the former first rounder and Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Now the pitch. Towards second. 
Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. Wow, you see some throwing errors sometimes, that but you don't see that from 40. the second baseman that Good often. Thing. Looked like he was trying Good to aim it instead of throwing it, and the result is an E4. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Contreras in front, two balls and no strikes. Three and 0 now. set now the pitch and a changeup couldn't get him to bite and it's ball four well he's really laboring in the early going here now that that's his right third field. walk of the game already Three. we'll see if he can get it together oh, yeah. or if this is just one of those days where he's going to have to grind his way to this start he's ready here's the first pitch Chris Bryant stands in as he looks at ball one here Hey, this dude's clearly capable of clearing the bases with one swing. So I think to approach this guy is try to keep the ball off the plate. See if they can get him to chase something. Swing and a ball pulled hard down the line and left. It's in there, and the Cubs look to have extra bases on their first hit of the game. He pulls into second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. That is what every manager is looking for out of the middle of his lineup. When you get your three, four, and five hitters producing this early in the season, it can be contagious, and everyone in the lineup starts to contribute. Anthony Rizzo stands in now as he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. He's got a chance to add to this early lead as he'll bat with a couple of guys in scoring position. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. The no next cover, Javier Baez. 0 oh for 1 for Javier. him here in this one. Baez. Looking to minimize the damage here. One and oh here it is and he'll try to check his swing here but he'll have no such luck it's strike one Contreras at third Bryant at second with two gone I changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it one and two now he's got a chance to ring up back to back case here and that would be huge in this situation tough curveball that time but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. He's got a good feel for his off speed pitch his second time through the order and we just saw three in a row. Tried to hold up there appeal down to first and no swing it's ball two. This one's down to third Shaw has it. Throw to first in time and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. Cubs pick up a run on the RBI double. We played three full. It's now 1-0 Chicago. All set for the start of the inning. And that'll bring up Avisayu Garcia. Fastball in there for a called strike. And it's 0-2 to Avisail Garcia. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. 
Just a great take by the batter. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout, and there's one away. I'll tell you right now, this guy has a shutout going, and it's been all business. He's not messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone, and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. In is Christian Yelich. Lifted down the line and left. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. The throw is wild and it gets away. And he will make it all the way around to score. And cue up the organ music because there was some treacherously bad defense on that play. Wow, somebody break out the oxygen tank because he was booking all the way around for the triple. But then the throwing error gives him an opening and he heads all the way home to score. Got to take care of the baseball. At the plate now, Keston Hiura. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Flew out in his only at bat so far. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Good sinking action there. One and two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. Hounds back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Now batter, the first baseman, Daniel Vogelback. And now here is Daniel Vogelback looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And that's dead center for strike one. That one misses. It's one and one now to the Milwaukee first baseman. Here's the pitch. That's ball, dude. I got two one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Into the corner and slicing foul. And it's fouled away. Trying to send him packing for the second time. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. At the plate now is David Bodie. Worked the walk in his first plate appearance. The second base. Here's the pitch. David Bodie. And here's one that misses to the leadoff man in the inning. The number six hitter in the lineup. It's ball one. Grounded back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw on to first in time. One away. Now batting center fielder Jake Marisnik. So now here is Jake Marisnik, reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. Now the pitch. First pitch here is a sinker that runs a bit too wide. It's ball one. A two ball no strike count to the Cubs center fielder. One run just one hit one error for the Cubs to this point. Down low and the plot thickens here three and zero. Oh. Matt Duffy the number eight hitter here waits on deck. Three and one. The 3 1. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Bases are empty, one man out. 
swing and a miss and they come back from a 3 0 count to sit him down on strikes and there are two gone. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout keep that guy off the base path. Stepping in now Matt Duffy. As he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Change up low, 2 and 0. Oh. Two out, nobody on. Cut fastball is in for a strike, 2 and 1. Into the windup and the pitch. To first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Cubs are down in order. Fifth inning coming up, tied at one. And now, Travis Shaw. He'll start off the fifth in this one. The third baseman, Travis Shaw. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. No balls and a strike to count. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. And he misses 2 and 1. To him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. The batter, the catcher, Omar Narvaez. So next to bat will be Narvaez. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Didn't stay on top of the slider that time as it misses high. Here's a breaking ball but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there and that's the second out. The batter, the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. So the bases are empty with two gone now. And up next will be the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Around second. He's on his way to third. Wow, it looked like he was carrying a piano around the bases on that one. But somehow he makes it all the way around the third for a triple. Give credit where credit is due. Nobody in the park, including me, thought he had that in him. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Swing and a liner. That gets down and the inning will continue. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Boy, that's a tough one right there if you're a pitcher, Dero. You're facing the opposing pitcher, and you give up a two-out RBI. I got to believe he's contemplating retirement. A two-out knock given up to the opposing pitcher? Listen, as a pitcher, you hate to give up base hits, but you doubly hate to give up base hits to the opposing pitcher. The 1-0 home lofted in the air out toward right center. He's under it, and that ends the inning. It's a run on two hits, one left. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and next will be the pitcher, Trevor Williams. Wheels and deals, here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss that time. Strike one. Now some movement out in the Milwaukee bullpen. Both the lefty and a right-hander have begun to stretch it out. And 
boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0-2 now. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. Cubs pitcher at the plate trailing with a one and two count. Now a change up locks him up as he looks at strike three called one away. Flat out locked him up with the change up right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count but clearly he wasn't looking for it so it's a backwards K for him. And that will bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Out in front of it, strike one. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 and 2, right? You have to protect for the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0 and 2. In now, Wilson Contreras. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. Trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. That evens it up one and one. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And this is going to find the seam in right center and should get to the Ivy for extra bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. A hit and two tries for him so far. front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair two strikes on him now on 0 2 here he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit he's got a base open so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here now about a 58 foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here and he'll try to entice him with the changeup here but it dips below the knees it's two and two regardless of the result right here to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. Swing and a miss as he chases one out of the zone for the third strike, and that's the third out of the inning. So they can't make it. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll bring up Abisayu Garcia. The right fielder. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. Too high there and maybe a bit outside as well. Two and one. Ground ball right side. Reined in. Throw to first gets him so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The left field number 22. Christian yeah. Digging in next, Christian Yelich, one for two in the ball game thus far. Popped him up. Contreras is there, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting, second baseman. So stepping Keston. in is Keston Hiura. He's hitless in his two at bats so far, and he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. 
Here's a breaking ball that falls in there for a strike to even things at one and one. Oh, that pitch tells me this guy's feeling frisky right now. He's on. He's got everything working. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. Marisnik retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Adrian Hauser please. will come on in relief now, as he'll make his three. second appearance of the season Number so far. Adrian now at the plate, Anthony Rizzo, lifetime against this pitcher. He's a 333 hitter. He's taken him deep once. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch, and he fouls this one off. This is why the manager pencils these guys in the middle of the order. Big spot, time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. One and one, the count of the Cubs' first baseman. Action now in the Milwaukee bullpen as they'll have a right-hander loosen up. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Started to chase that time, but then he wisely holds off for ball three. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. Keen is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Now Boy, talk about Short hitting stop. into some rough Coming luck. Air. That was an absolute oh, yeah. bullet to the outfield that gets caught, and he would have represented a tying run. And that brings up Javi Baez as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And he falls behind 0-2. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. I love a well-executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair, and you could have some problems. The 2-2. Two -two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Fool him just enough with that pitch to get him go around according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. David Bodie is in for a third plate appearance as he watches one miss inside. It's 1-0. Two and zero oh now. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. Big cut at the two zero -oh slider, but he comes up empty. Two and one. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. Hit hard back up the middle, and that's through for a hit. So that knock keeps the bottom of the sixth inning hot. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. Next up, Jake Marisnik. His career numbers against this pitcher. Small sample, a perfect one for one. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. The 1 0. Misses, ball two. Hit in the air down the right field line. Garcia giving chase. He's got it as the tying run is left on base. Cubs strand one. They're down 2 1.
Dan Vogelbach is next. Flew out last time up. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last hey, AB. Yo. Certainly just Vogelback. missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this AB. Ah, uh, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a up tough first out. The third baseman, Travis Shaw. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 0 oh, for 2 for him to this point. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. 2-1 to one our score. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Hard sinker misses two and two. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Hit sharply on the ground. Fielded cleanly. Throw gets him. Two down. Up next for Milwaukee, the catcher, Omar Narvaez. And now in the box, Narvaez. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. And that's in there for a strike. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working that Greg Maddox east to west. Count now a ball and a strike. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Here comes the one two. Misses for the second ball. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. And Baez will put this one away to retire the side. Ladies and gentlemen, Gone in order of the time. Brewers. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Devin Williams will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven the spot in the lineup following the, the double baseman. switch. Manny Pena is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2 and 0 oh now. Don't expect this pitcher to throw something over the heart of the plate. He's going to have to stay on the corners right here. Huge spot in this game. Do not miss over the heart and get beat. 3 and 0 oh to him now. Into the windup and the pitch. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Hey, guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour. On a night like tonight where it's super cold out, if you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. Now the payoff pitch home. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. It looked like this at bat had the makings of a leadoff walk when it started 3-0. So that's a good job not to give in and battle back to earn the strikeout. That's not always easy to do. Chuck Peterson please. will pinch hit he here, and he's cut. the potential tying Number run. 24. Now the first Josh. pitch. Peterson. Oof, looks like he's chasing butterflies with that swing. It's 0-1. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No. Strike two, says the third base umpire. One out, nobody on. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Well, that's a pitch right there. You gotta just lay off. There's a good chance he's gonna throw it on 0 and 2. And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at 2 and 2. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. 3 and 2, full count. And 
and he lays off ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. Two ways to look at this walk. If you're the Number hitting coach, you say, eight. that's a great A.B. Yeah. Down 0-2 and you work yeah. the walk. But if you're a pitcher like me, that's just a case of letting a guy off the hook. And that can really frustrate you. First pitch on its way. Ian Happ comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Outside, 3-0 and now. Wilson Contreras is on deck. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. The catcher, number 40. Eric Yardley Wilson. is out from the bullpen now John as he'll be Travis. making his first appearance Your of this young please. season. Now pitching for the group. Wilson Contreras will Number be his 57. first assignment here as he'll Eric. face him with runners at first and second and one gone. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. And there's ball one. Check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. One out with the possible tying and go ahead runs on base here. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. Now that striding in is Chris Red. Bryant trying here to plate the tying run from second breaking ball that's in the dirt as he takes a ball you know because this is just a one run game this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy I think he's going to challenge him right here two and oh has to be a challenge pitch coming up here he probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases big spot two out possible tying and go ahead runs on base three and oh now not a good spot to be in right now pitchers falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position the 3 0 pitch and he misses ball four so now that potential tying run scoots up 90 feet to third base I think he was trying to be a little too fine there and a walk is the result well the good news is he has a force at every base the bad news a single probably drives in a couple of runs. So in now for Chicago. Anthony Rizzo. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, he, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Big spot. Two out. Possible tying and go ahead runs on base. And that misses two and two. Two and two. Here it is. Right side. Oh, beautiful dive. He goes to first. What an outstanding play to end the inning. Three thumbs up here in the booth following this gorgeous play at second base. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Jason Adam has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 60, Jason 
Adam. Leading off the inning, it'll be Orlando Arcia trying to pad their lead here before the bottom of the inning. One ball, no strikes to count. Orlando Arcia. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he's set down for the first out. The Cubs are into their bullpen now as there are the final numbers for their starter. And he was really in command on the mound throughout the evening. Well, this is one of those as a pitcher where you don't get rewarded for pitching well. He threw the ball great in this one. Didn't get much run support. He's in line for the loss, and he deserves a much better fate. He threw the ball pretty well in this one. That's a tough pitch for a batter. If you're not expecting it, you'll end up with half a bat after you swing. And he strikes him out as well. So two punch outs to begin the outing out of the pen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Lorenzo Kane is next as he finds himself behind 0 and 1. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. A 1 and 1 count to the Brewers leadoff man. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt. I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. Fouled away. Again, another foul ball. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. The 2-2 is looked at, and the count moves full. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. They lead it 2-1. to one. Justin Topa will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 56, Justin. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. Javier Baez is the batter now as he looks at a bowl of 1 and 0. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen. And this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series and maybe even the whole week ahead. Ball two now. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. Two balls and a strike to Javi Baez. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter. David Bodie is on deck. And a 2-2 sinker falls in there. Three and two now. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout and there's one gone. People always talk about how important no getting the leadoff no men on base is. And, and it's true. Base so in the eighth base inning base. of a one-run game, that's Bode. a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. David Bodie is at the plate as he watches ball one. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Now the 2-0. There's Jake Marisnik. He'll get his shot next. 3-0 pitch. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heater. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. And he takes a cold strike at the knees and that'll run things full. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. Well, that was a slider in a 3 2 count. It, it just didn't Look, tempt him enough to get a good swing. Good. A good job of pitch recognition oh, and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. 
He's set. Here it comes. Nope. Jake Marisnik is at the plate as he nope. looks at ball one. Now a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back, but he does so too late. It's strike one. The 1-1 one home is taken for ball two. Modi leads off first with one away. Counts even a two and two to Marisnik. 